Now look at the screen. What do you see? A high heel. Okay, high heel shoe. Okay, very good. So now you see, uh, they are trying to analyze this high heel shoe and looking at the screen, what's the um the height of the heel? Three and a half inches. Okay. And uh, yeah, three and a half inches. It could also be nine what? Nine centimeters. Nine centimeters. Okay. So we can work on any of those units. So now, um, granted that we measure, granted that we measure from here, where I'm pointing at right now, which is the, the bottom of the hill all the way to this point, we can actually label those parts. We can label it as A. We can label this as B, C, and D so that we can have a, a triangle that, uh, that can be called A, B, C, stuff like that. So now we know A, B. We know A, B. And then, and then we can know, let's, uh, let's assign a value to B, C. Give me a number. Uh, give me, let's work in centimeters, OK? So um, A, B, line A, B is 9 cm. So just give me a number for line BC. Line BC is what? 60. Yeah. 16? 60. No, that's, that would be too much for nine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that would be too much. So let's just use something like maybe 11 or 10 or 12, something like that. So what do you prefer? Like 10. Let's say 11 cm. All right. So now... How about the angle that, that this C makes with the horizontal, this thing, this one? So can you assign a number to it, like in degree? Or we don't really, we can actually find out what that angle is. So can we use, uh, let's use, um, let's use Pythagorean theorem to get AC. AC is what? Use Pythagorean theorem, ladies and gentlemen. You have two minutes to do that. So. A, B is 9, B, C is 11, all in centimeters. So you are using, you are using Pythagorean theorem to get A, C. OK, who got the result? Who got the result, A, C, using Pythagorean theorem? 14 centimeters. Yeah, I got 14 centimeters. OK, very good. So let's write 14 centimeters right here. Um, 14 cm. So now we are going to use uh, trig ratios in order to get the angle ACB. So just call it theta, angle theta here. Okay. So what trig ratio do you think you are going to use? You can actually use any of them. So pick one. Ladies and gentlemen, always remember Sokatua. I'm getting. I don't know what to say. This is, I told you how many times, this is the beginning and end of a trig ratio, the so-called Sokatua. So in this right triangle, we have at least three sides. So any of these Sokatua, any of these uh, uh, trig ratio is going to work. So I'm just asking you, which one do you prefer to work with? Cause. Okay, if it is cause, it is going to be Cos theta will be what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. All right, so which means cos theta will be, what's the adjacent now? 11. 11, thank you. And then the hypotenuse is? 14. 14. So punching the number, let's get that in decimal. Get it in decimal. 14 divided by, no, 11 divided by 14. 11 divided by 14, your calculator. 0 0.785. 0 0.785. Any other number? Give me one more. Seven. Okay. So now, in order to get your theta, you have to get the inverse of course. So theta, you have to get the inverse of course, which is cos inverse of 0 0.7857. Or you can call it arc cos, arc cos, like arc cos. So um, let me pull out my, cal uh, my calculator. Okay, 
So we can we can punch in the number here. We can punch in the number here. Hold on. Okay, so we can clear the screen and then we need add cost. So you come to second function, you press your course, you type in the number 0 0.7857. You close it, you hit enter. That gives us what? The angle made is 38 degree. And Mr. Ukable? Yes. It's 136. Yes, I know. The class ends at 140. Oh, okay. I know. I still have I still have four minutes. So now the task for today is going to be very simple. The task is write three paragraph essay on what you learned today. You are not solving any new problem. You're just describing it, what you learned today. So what time do you need to finish it? Uh, can we can we submit by like um eight o'clock eight o'clock seven o'clock okay i'll give you eight o'clock so the task is write at least three paragraph essay explaining what you learned today i missed you cable yes can we do two paragraphs no we did two before, so we are going to do three uh, this time around. The next time we are going to do this type of thing is going to be four paragraphs. So you are not solving it, no new problem, no new problem. Just explain the one we solved, but let it be in form of essay. 